This is Adelaide's Nine News with Kate Collins. Good evening. The world is tonight mourning a truly great man. Nelson Mandela, the anti-apartheid champion whose struggle for freedom inspired millions, has died at the age of 95. Within the last hour, the first memorial service in Cape Town for Nelson Mandela. Archbishop Desmond Tutu told the congregation, don't wallow in our abundant tears, celebrate his life. Thank you for the gift of Matiba. Thank you for what he has enabled us to know we can become. Nelson Mandela, the man who transformed a nation and moved the world, died at home in Johannesburg. It fell to South African President Jacob Zuma to make the historic announcement. Our beloved Nelson Holihlahla Mandela, the founding president, of our democratic nation has departed. It wasn't long before crowds hit the streets around Mandela's home. It's tragic, it's sad, but at the same time I think we should celebrate, celebrate what he has achieved and what he's given us. In South Africa, it felt like a member of the family had died. Our nation has lost its greatest son. Our people have lost a father. Prime Minister Tony Abbott was on radio when the announcement was made. He is now at peace. I guess the impression we get of Nelson Mandela is someone who suffered uh, but was not embittered but ennobled through that suffering. The world was soon mourning a towering figure of the 20th century. Tonight, one of the brightest lights of our world has gone out. Nelson Mandela was not just a hero of our time, but a hero of all time. Nearly three decades behind bars, a prisoner of apartheid, he walked free of bitterness, vowing to unite South Africa. I stand here before you, not as a prophet, but as a humble servant of you, the people. It was 1960, the Sharpeville massacre, the moment Mandela decided to take up the fight. There are many people who feel that it is useless and futile for us to continue talking peace and non-violence against a government whose reply is only savage attacks. Mandela had originally been sentenced to hang for sabotage. His legend soared with this speech to the court. I have cherished the idea of a democratic and free society. If it needs be, it is an ideal for which I am prepared to die. Mandela's life was eventually spared. Instead, he served 27 years on Robben Island, the world's most celebrated prisoner, number 46664. In the early days, allowed one visitor a year, one letter every six months. But every year his stature grew and millions rallied for his release. South Africa needs Nelson Mandela. The world needs Nelson Mandela. His release in 1990 transfixed the world. I must confess I'm unable to describe my emotions. His grace and humility, Mandela was the ultimate symbol of dignified resistance even returning to that cell many times. I didn't notice that uh, it was so small, you know, because uh, you had your bed here, and as I say, uh, it was almost a little about three quarters big, big, big in relation to this. As a token of respect, South Africans, black and white, used his tribal name, Madiba. This is my first Christmas. Yeah. And New Year in 27 years. In the years that followed, he led the ANC to South Africa's first all-race elections. I feel today I'm a human being in South Africa. I was even screaming. <laughs> you were screaming in there? Mm, because I was so happy. The man once isolated from the world was the country's new president. Never, never, and never again shall it be that this beautiful land 
will again experience the oppression of one by another. His swearing in testament to the esteem in which he was held around the world. It is marvellously satisfying to be here today. Mandela's years in power were anything but easy. Entrenched racism was a stain not easily wiped clean. The country battled the twin plagues of poverty and AIDS. His own son died of the disease. In 1995, a masterful move by Mandela. He embraced the lingering bastion of white rule, the Springboks. He visited their camp in the lead up to the World Cup. The Australians have reached the top, but we have not. And that might be decisive tomorrow. And the final that united the country, a victory over the All Blacks, and it seems over apartheid as well. Mandela went on to be the most potent force of peace in the world. We come here to celebrate the new South Africa that is giving peace and prosperity to all its people. And we come here to celebrate you. We come here to celebrate Nelson Mandela. He was worshipped by presidents, by princesses and the Pope, even pop stars. A visit by the Spice Girls, he was able to poke fun at his own celebrity. You know, these are my uh, heroines. <laughs> and he's, and, uh, he's our hero as well. His marriage to Winnie Mandela ended in divorce. He would find happiness again with a former first lady of Mozambique, Grasa Michelle. Five years ago, Mandela, frail, just able to walk, signalled the end of public life. After nearly 90 years of life, it is time for new heads to lift the burdens. It is in your hands now. His was a long walk to freedom, and from the world, there will be a long goodbye. We've lost one of the most influential, courageous, and profoundly good human beings that any of us will share time with on this earth. It's the extremely sad and tragic news. Um, we just reminded of what an extraordinary uh, an inspiring man Nelson Mandela was. Mark Burroughs, Nine News.